Many people just don't understand what affordable housing is. There's quite an understanding, I guess, of what social housing or public housing is. Um, but when it comes to affordable housing, it's sort of lacking. And the fact that stories around how it's funded and how we can sort of boost the supply of this often rely on, I guess, quite complex explanations about how we go about doing that, that just readers kind of put into the too hard basket, can't get their head around. Now, I understand that generally most people don't want to have their faces in the paper anyway, and that when you throw in some of the stigma that still unfortunately surrounds um, affordable housing and social housing, that they can be even less inclined to want to have a chat and to want to have their face in the paper. But it's important that we can centre these stories around people and put their stories front and centre to show the implications of, affordable of a lack of affordable housing, sorry, and the benefits of boosting it. Again, people relate to people, but they're not so good at relating to policy or understanding it. And so as areas around Sydney gentrify, they become more expensive and often existing communities are pushed out of the area. We're seeing this in different pockets of the city. And I, I suppose hearing, and this is for the Herald too, hearing from a lot of readers that this is a concern, whether that's from an overdevelopment perspective or just uh, the changing nature of their communities, like Marrickville, a lot of the artists there are like, we can't afford to live here anymore because you know it's become so trendy that the rents have gone up and the young professionals have moved in and where does that leave, leave sorry, the existing community? And so, as I said, we're seeing this in different pockets and with so much of the city changing, people are concerned that if we're not going to get it right now, when will we? That we're not going to have the diversity of housing needed to support these thriving communities.